everybody. I'm Lois Myers here at my home in Houston, Texas, and I was about to go out for a walk and get some good exercise, and I was on a call with one of our team leaders who asked us to rise to the occasion to do a leadership video, what we thought was leadership. Well, I wanted to respond to that because I believe good leaders take action when they see an immediate need or request by one of their uh, members, one of their team members. So I'm going to do just that and I'll go off for my walk in a little bit. But to me, team leadership or being a leader is all about being passionate for what you believe in and that you see a need out there, a gap out there that you can fill and make something better to help other people and that you have a specific plan for reaching a specific goal and having the confidence that you can do it. I used to teach senior English, I knew my subject, and I wanted to share that with other people. So I kept after it and I opened up mine so that they could understand how to write and read better on the 12th grade level and go on to college. And if I didn't know the answer to some of their questions, I didn't try to fake it. I told them I didn't know and I would get back with them. I would get them the answer when I found out and I did just that. I researched it and got right back with them and gave them the information that they wanted. I filled that need. Let me give you another example of leadership. Besides being a member and having my own real estate company in uh, Houston with the Houston Association of Realtors where I've had to take a leadership role in helping people find a good home or to sell their home. Uh, I was certainly a leader in that capacity as well. Um, but I also wanted to give a little example of my home here in Houston, Texas. I am living in boxes still because we were flooded out about four years ago because of city developers, commercial developers, not putting in their city required detention ponds and also the ponds that they were to put in by contract that they had signed with the city to do. And I even spoke before city planning and development before they started digging around here and told them if they didn't take care of proper flooding precautions that we would flood because we're very low next to the sea here on the Gulf of Mexico, the city of Houston is. They said yes they would, but no they really didn't listen. So at 4 a.m. when I woke up one morning about four years ago in water, having to move things around and evacuated everything out of this house with the help of my children who came in, they were grown and live in other houses. Thank God for my children helping me that day to get everything boxed up and moved out till I could get it rehabilitated which was ridiculous that it even happened because I live inside city limits and hundreds of homes were flooded at that time. I took a leadership role and I marched down to City Hall, stood before the mayor and all of council one month after that happened, armed with a pile of documents proving why the city should have put in those detention ponds. They reneged on it with these developers. They didn't enforce those ponds and why we got to be where we are. And I, uh, as a result of that, in 20 minutes, I got the mayor to pull the budget of these commercial developers and not pass it so that they could study and review to find out what the problem was and fix it. I had even asked my civic association president to go before the council and speak for us, but he said no, that he wasn't going to do that. We were going to piggyback on somebody else. That wasn't good enough for me. I took action because I saw a need there, and I took a leadership role because I was passionate about the cause. I saw the need. I wanted to help other people. Today, four years later, they just broke ground for the first detention pond and my things are still in boxes because we could have a big rain here and be flooded out very quickly again until that's set in operation. So I want to be safe rather than sorry. So I hope that I have explained to you what in my sense, in my opinion, leadership is. And oh, by the way, that didn't happen in four years overnight. I had to go back to city council and took some friends and neighbors around here with me and together we fought for that detention pond that's being put in even now as I speak and 
all the bells and whistles being put on it to get it to work. So, if you want to be an Empower Network with me and learn how you can make money, I'll teach you, I'll help you all the way as a leader. Please sign up with me today. Click that button below or write a comment. Go to my website, theabundantharvest.com, and I'll see you soon. Thank you, and may God bless you.